we've also been working on full holographic AR glasses for, for almost 10 years. Almost 10 years. And that is still the full vision that we're working towards. And I have something that I want to show you today. How would you guys feel if I tell you these glasses I'm putting on right now? It's a very special glass. I can use it to text my friends. I can use it to write notes. I can use it to watch YouTube and do a lot of things. While this glass is not absolutely that, I have something for you that may be something more than this. Today we'll be talking about something very exciting. The Orion glasses from Meta formerly known as Facebook, headed by this guy over here. These are shaping up to be a major leap in mixed reality tech. And if they live up to the hype, they could change how we interact with well, everything. So stick around if you want to know what mixed reality actually is, what these glasses could do, and when they might be finally available. All right, so let's talk about what we know about the Orion. Orion is Meta's rumored project to create mixed reality glasses. Think of it as AR glasses on steroids. Imagine wearing a pair of glasses that blend digital elements right into the real world around you. And they could be coming out sooner than you think. But before we get too far into the details, let's clear up what mixed reality actually means and how it compares to augmented reality and virtual reality. Because this can quickly become more confusing than ever. In augmented reality, this is basically where the digital image is laid over the real world. Example, Snapchat filters, Pokemon Go. When you beautify your face in Snapchat, that's the effect of augmented reality. Because you can actually, in a way, see the real world and an effect on your face. Whilst the virtual reality means you are totally immersed in a digital environment. Gamers would really understand this because when you get a VR headset, you are actually immersed in the whole experience and nothing around you is real. Now, for the mixed reality part of the whole thing, the mixed reality combines the virtual and the real world. Digital objects appear in actual space like hologram on your decks or a virtual pet on your floor. A very simple use case of this would be me wearing these glasses and getting access to YouTube and a digital keyboard where I can key in something and get it set on the YouTube to watch. All without using this. So Meta Orion glasses aim to bring us that mixed reality experience. They are expected to project digital info and 3D elements that actually respond to your surroundings. Imagine seeing a notification floating in mid-air and hey, if subscribing to my YouTube channel was that easy, you could have just reached out and tap on your screen. You would be subscribed already. Now let's talk about when we might actually see these things. Based on rumors, 2025 is the year to keep an eye on. Meta hasn't actually given an official date but 2025 makes sense and if you consider the development timeline for something this advanced just a couple of years and we could actually be seeing the future right before our eyes literally before we move right into the features of the Orion glasses some might argue that then what does that make the Ray-Ban Meta glasses now the truth is if the Orion glasses were to be this the Ray-Ban Meta glasses would become this. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying the Ray-Ban Meta is actually bad. But the Ray-Ban Meta functionality is limited. You only get an AI, a speaker, a very good camera. And that's about it. The Orion is different. That's why I'm going to mention some of the features we already know about Orion glasses. It's going to come with a standalone design. Mixed reality projection, hand and voice control, social productivity tool, etc. etc. Some might say it sounds like something we've already seen before. But what would it like something you could just fold into your pocket easily? And that's everything the Vision Pros can do. Unlike the Vision Pro that is actually humongous and doesn't even have a battery on it. Whether you are a tech fan, a gamer, or just curious about where this is headed, Orion could become something we should keep your eye on. Thanks for watching and hey. If you are as pumped as I am about the future of tech, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. And see you in the next video.